Okay, now we're gonna do we're gonna do blocks, right? Blocks are basically closures. It's a way of encapsulating your variables. Like you can see this right here. You declare a one in here and you try to add it, add one to it, and uh, you, you get an error because it's in a different scope when it's in between these braces right here, right? We'll do an example. But if you were to put this outside and put this inside, it would be able to access that, making it a closure, okay? Um, and then you can do like anonymous functions with this right and like you see this const x here and you declare it like this right you declare the block like this or the anonymous function like this and in order to return a value back to the the outside you can put a break in here and then just invert the colon on the other side and returns y like you can see that Basically, you can see if we could run through this program, right? It's going to start off as one, 123. It's going to hit this block, come into this block, add 1, and then it's going to go out of the block as 124. You can see that these tests pass right here, right? And you can also, you know, it's showing here about separate scopes for the blocks. You know, you keep it. You're keeping these two away from each other. They're the same variable name, but in different scopes, they mean different things, okay? You could also use this in a switch statement right here, right? So you can see that if it's between 5 and 100, it returns a 1. Uh, if it's 101, if A is 101, it's going to return. It's going to create a new constant and add that times uh, <coughs> or uh, multiply that by 2 plus 1, okay? You can also see we can return strings right here, right? All right, so let's get into some code, right? All right, so let's do it like we're used to it. STD equals at import STD. Okay. Public gen. Uh, main void okay <clears throat> all right so we'll do that first example right and we'll put this inside of here we'll put uh, say var i equals 10 okay so just to drive these points home right and then we'll put i plus equals 10 or 20 okay so this will turn out to be 30 so debug see debug I'll turn this on yes yeah, on SCD debug dot print all right and we're gonna put bang bang and that We'll put I in here, right? So value of I is okay, and we'll put that there like that. All right, so zig run be okay. Okay, that wasn't going to compile, I already knew that, right? All right, uh, because this is declared in a scope, so it's not available to any valuable uh, variables outside of these two braces, right? However, let's do it this way. Anything that's declared outside of here is going to be available in here, okay? So we're going to get 30 out of this, right? Or am I not? Okay, where did I go wrong here? Okay, let me. I have to de I declare what type of type this is. Okay. Okay, value of thirty. Okay, so we got a value of thirty down here. You know what? Let me clear all this stuff out. Make it easy on us. Make it easy on the eyes. Put a slash in on the end there. Okay. 
value of i is 30 okay all right so now we can also we'll just make this a variable right we'll call this p equals make this a constant and then all we got to do is put this block in front of here uh, this, this is a keyword here and it'll come out the same way right but identify your block okay let's put this down here now all right all right unused block label okay maybe I have to do this uh, break and I'll put I Let's see if that works yeah that seemed to make it work okay so I is still gonna be that right so, but we can return a value into in into p, right? This is going to actually return i back to the outside, right? So that we we can operate on the variables, right? But we can also put plus three, all right? So let's see what happens here. Still says thirty, right? Because what happens now is it's going to return this into the variable p right so let's put p in there and that's going to return 33 right so you'll be able to operate on variables from the outside inside here okay another thing we can do is um, we can use this on a switch statement so let's say um, let's say constant r I'm just using these single okay then we'll put a switch statement in here bam and then we'll operate on P we know P is going to be 33 right so we'll put 33 and that's going to equal to a block come on now what, what, are, you, what are you doing here okay it's going to equal to a block so and then this block we can put just about we got to put a comma after this we'll put some other values in there but in this block we can we can print out stuff hey I'm stuff to print out perfect right all right so put that dot bang and then we return we'll do that same thing break block and then we'll return uh, we'll return P which is going to be 33 all right and then we got okay let's 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 just put let's make this one okay then it will return 45 right and then we always have to terminate it with an else and then we'll make it 20 okay all right so let's see the dot debug dot print okay and we're going to make this uh, what is it variable r r is we'll put the slash in on there so we Okay, so then we'll put R in here. All right, and we know R is we know R is 33 because it printed out 33, right? It's going to take the value of P, or P is going to be 33, so it's going to run this block right here, right? So let's clear this out and then run a block. Break block P. I've in the expected token. Okay. I didn't put this uh, verse on there. And I gotta put a comma there. 
hey, I'm stuffed, print out R is 33. So it's printing out this right here, and it's gonna print out and it's gonna print out that value here. So and we can we can operate on this too right here. So we'll just put plus fifty, okay? So it'll put out it should put out this number will be eighty three, right? So it'll be eighty three. Hey I'm stuffing I print out eighty three. And we can we can just come down here, we'll play with this. It will make uh, P equal one, okay? So it'll print out 45. Cannot assign to a constant. Okay, I guess, we, oh, 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 because it's a constant. Let me see if I make this a var, if that'll work. It might, it might. Okay, it worked. R is 45, right? Because when you do a constant, it's got to be that variable is unchangeable, but var makes it changeable. Okay, so R is 45 because P is equal to 1 and P is going to get 1. Okay, so this is basically a match statement if you know Rust, okay? And those are blocks right there or closures. They're basically closures or anonymous functions, right? Thank you.